What do you do if you notice that your pool filter pressure is too high? Well, the first thing that you would do, if there's any doubt at all, is turn off the pump. Just turn off the pump and you're going to eliminate any imminent danger that's, that you might be in or uh, chance that there could be some sort of uh, escalating problem that's happening. Turning off the pump kind of you know puts the pause button on that and will, and will allow you to evaluate the problem, possibly troubleshoot the scenario and see what's going on here. So first of all, how much pressure is too much pressure? Well, anything that's well above what your normal operating pressure is, that's a red flag. That's a problem for sure. But speaking in general terms, swimming pool equipment almost universally is rated to run up to and including 30 PSI. Anything over 30 PSI is considered too much. If I walked up to my system and the pressure gauge on filter was reading 35 or 40 PSI, boom. I immediately shut down the pool pump. That's the first move that I'm going to. So at this point, the next thing I'm going to be looking into is, is this filter gauge actually reading the right pressure? Now that's just an experience move. I've seen a bunch of these filters and those pressure gauges, man, they break if you look at them funny. So it's not uncommon at all to have a problem with one of them. And the the typical way in which you would go about determining is this filter gauge working or has it broken, you would turn off the system, you would remove the pressure gauge from the filter, and the dial should reset to zero. Often, it won't reset to zero. And if it doesn't reset to zero, that filter gauge is, uh, or that pressure gauge is garbage, just go ahead and toss it and pick yourself up a new one. They're not a lot of money. <laughs> pick yourself up two, and then you have the replacement next time already. I guess it's worth noting that this is a threaded connection, so you have to use a thread seal and something like Teflon tape in order to put that uh, pressure gauge back in. And if you're listening to this video and you're going to go out and try this for yourself, be aware you can cause problems doing this kind of thing. Like when you thread that filter gauge or that pressure gauge back into the filter, if you thread it too far or you use too much uh, Teflon tape, you could crack something on the filter, now you've caused an expensive repair. So anytime that you're interacting with your pool, you have to recognize that you're taking some risks and there's some onus of responsibility on your shoulders for if something goes wrong. And that's the disadvantage to watching a YouTube video like this is you might get some good advice, but the reality is, is that your hands are inexperienced and you might do something accidentally which could end up being expensive. So do be aware of that. That being said, I want to put these helpful videos out there and this is the process by which a swimming pool service technician would go about diagnosing this problem. So if your filter pressure is too high, above 30 PSI, go ahead and turn off the pump, remove the pressure gauge, make sure that gauge resets to zero. If it doesn't reset to zero, replace it. If it does reset to zero, go ahead and uh, reinstall that into the filter. But now I think we have a problem with the filter media. Unless you can spot a problem with maybe the valves are deadheading the pump, that would be a problem. But aside from something very uncommon or unlikely like that, chances are there's a problem with the filter media. Whether it's you have a DE filter, a sand filter, or a cartridge filter, chances are you need to clean your filter media. So it's probably going to be opening the, the filter, uh, disassembling, cleaning, uh, or doing a backwash if you have a sand filter. In any case, once you perform that, put everything back together, start up your system again, paying close attention to the pressure on the filter or on the the pressure gauge in the filter it should be down to a reasonable level something that represents what you would normally run at and it should be less than 30 psi if again it's above 30 psi turn the pump off bite the bullet call a service professional that's what we're out there for uh, we can diagnose this kind of stuff safely quickly and efficiently for you um, I mean, there's something to be said about taking some steps on your own, being proactive, learning about your pool equipment so that you can interact with it, perform basic troubleshooting steps. I, I totally like that approach and I definitely endorse that, but also know your limits. There's, you know, you've put some time into this. You did some basic steps. It hasn't resolved the problem. You're dealing with a pressure vessel that's currently reading higher than it should or higher than it's safe. So go ahead and hire a service professional at this point to come in and take a look. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.